the fruit market and more Dublin workhorses. It's a lovely job now with motor car wheels. Some of these even have a square wheel underneath. I don't see him with one though. Ah, me jewel and darling, Moor Street. Where every lady vendor is a queen. And Rosie is the queen of queens. Chardell Street nearly speaks for itself. No shortage of fruit today. Or vegetables. Apples, tomatoes, bananas. Onions, cauliflowers, parsnips, Brussels sprouts. Mountains of them. There's the load coming off. Select tomatoes. Well, look where your man hung his coat. And there's the right load he has. I wonder what's in them boxes. Apples or tomatoes or something. Under the counter. There'll be plenty over the counter as well. Pyramids of fruit. Stall upon stall. You're always sure of a bargain in your street. Or as Jimmy O'D used to say, go down to Moor Street and get your nose educated. Well, here's a man with no horse, but that thing's moving very fast. That was a quick operation. Empty. In a matter of minutes. Ah, uh, McHenry's coal yard. In the heart of the Liberties. And a couple of bellmen loading up. And a big lorry loading up there to make the suburban deliveries. The bellmen get their name from the time the horse used to carry a bell around his neck. Of course, every time the horse threw his neck up and down, the old bell rang out. And of course, the people in their houses knew it was the coalman when they heard the bell. But some of them have no bells, and those that had no bells always shouted. And of course, we as chiselers used to run after them, and we did our shouting too. Very few bellmen in Dublin today. Cross and Angel Street. Hey, give way to horse traffic there. That car should have stopped. Give way to horse traffic. Well, when we were kids, we used to say, What do you feed your mother on? customer there's a fella now going to get a bucket full of it won't carry too much in that coal is still bought in stones in Dublin not the weight the scoop Shovel and a shovel and a, a bit will nearly finish this. Bit, another bit, another bit, another bit, another bit, and another bit, and another bit. Well, probably a chili that last lump. You know, you just get the chili in the milk. And there's a the bucket of coal. To he's a Dublin family. For how long? A night? A weekend? Or maybe a week? And the 
Belmont's off to scoop out more stones of coal. Or black diamonds, as we used to say. <laughs> 